Hi, I'm Tony Little. I'm the Facility Operations Coordinator here at Cary Park Recreation Center. We're going to go on a quick tour to show you some of the repairs and issues we have around the facility. So what I'd like to point out is uh, the pothole here in front of me. Uh, 40 plus, almost 40 year old parking lot is we're seeing a lot of cracking, potholes, separation of pavement. This is definitely one area we're going to have to deal with in the near future. Over the past two years, we've spent almost $10,000 just fixing potholes, repairs. This is going to be an ongoing cost. Accessibility at our facility is also an issue. I'm standing outside in front of some of our disabled parking. If we have a user that wants to come and watch their son, daughter, or grandchild play some hockey, they have to enter the facility through the north from one of our exterior fire exit doors. Then while viewing, if they decide they'd like to visit our concession or need to use the restroom, they then have to enter, come outside and enter the facility from the south through our main arena doors. Imagine doing that in the middle of winter, rain and snow on the ground, not ideal. So we're now in the boiler room. Everything to my right was replaced in 2011 under a boiler replacement project. Everything to my left is still original to the building. Piping from basically this line that way all needs to be replaced. Everything from this line this way has been replaced. I'd now like to show you our DDC system. That's direct digital control. This is a building operating system that runs things like our lights, our heating systems, our boilers, computer controlled. This system was installed in the 90s and was old technology when it was installed. All of the mechanical upgrades we've done, such as the boiler system and our HVAC systems, have required us to do hardware updates so that the new systems can talk to our current operating system. So now I'd like to show you our main pump room. This is where water is supplied to the facility, as well as our fire pump. So right now you're looking at our main domestic water supply. Uh, as you can see, some of it is new, newer. The pressure tanks, the large blue tanks you see, are about 10, 12 years old. The majority of everything else is, if not 40 years old, pretty close. So what we're showing you now is our fire, fire pump system. This is original to the building. Still works fine, however, not up to today's standards as well. Parts are next to impossible. If any of these key components fail, the system could be down. Now we're standing in the main electrical vault for Cary Park. This is where the electrical service enters the building. All the equipment in this room is original to the facility, 1974-75. Parts are getting very difficult to source for some of these key components. I'd li also like to show you an electrical panel in the front office showing some of the additions we've had to do over the years to meet current electrical needs and demands. Cary Park is a designated emergency services center for the South Cowichan region. As a result, we have an emergency generator on site which also is original to the building. Here beside me is the transfer switch which allows the emergency generator power to feed the building. There's a couple key components within this unit that if they fail, we cannot get parts for. We're at a situation where we need to entirely replace the unit. So we're standing out here on our hockey arena floor. Uh, what we'd like to show you is some of the cracks that we're seeing in our floor and the variation in, in elevations. There's actually about a two inch difference from our high spots to our low spots. Very inefficient. We have, we have to run our refrigeration machinery to freeze four inches of ice, not the inch and a half we have at center. So just to give you an example of the slope on our floor, I'm holding here a lacrosse ball. It should stay put when I put it down. As you can see, it's picking up a significant amount of speed. Replacement of our arena slab, which is almost 40 years old, is a multi-step process. It involves removing the boards, excavating the current slab, replacing the brine lines, the heating floor, and as well excavating underground to find out what the cause of the heave was. 80% of our current board system are made out of wood. Now would be the time to replace them to new updated systems, such as aluminum with seamless glass. I'm standing here in one of our dressing rooms. As you can see, they're relatively small. They're about 350 square feet. The standard nice arenas today is between six and 700. If you can just imagine 20 kids, their hockey bags, and their parents in here tying skates, quite congested. Another issue we have is two dressing rooms share a common shower room. So we can book a team into dressing room A or B, but not A and B together. So as you can see, these are some examples of the major repairs that need to be addressed at Cary Park in the future.
Thank you for joining me.